dear students once again i mr vishal shah assistant professor krishna institute of pharmacy karad welcome you all to this another session that is the aromatic acids in previous lecture we have finished with the aromatic amines in that we have seen what is the meaning of diazonium salt and what are the synthetic applications of the diazonium salt today we are going to start with the third chapter of this second unit that is the aromatic acids so let's begin with our today's lecture now what is the meaning of aromatic acids aromatic acids are the compounds that contain one or more carboxylic acid group that are directly bonded to an aromatic ring now the simplest example of aromatic acid is benzoic acid where the one carboxylic acid group is attached to the benzene ring that is known as the benzoic acid phenyl acetic acid and similar other compounds in which carboxyl group is not attached directly to aromatic ring are called as the side chain aromatic acids let's see afterwards that what are the different examples here this is the simple example of benzoic acid where this one carboxylic acid group it attached to the benzene ring as this carboxylic acid group is directly attached to the aromatic system these compounds are known as the aromatic acids and suppose for example here in this phenyl acetic acid when the there is a presence of a ch2 group between this benzene ring and a carboxylic acid group then it is known as the phenyl acetic acid in that case as this carboxylic acid group is not directly connected to the benzene ring in that case this particular compound is not known as the aromatic acid because carboxylic acid group is not directly connected to the benzene ring and that's why this compound is not considered as a aromatic acid rather it is considered as a side chain aromatic acid so this is the simple definition of aromatic acids now benzoic acid where the carboxylic acid group is directly connected to the benzene ring rest of the compounds are named according to the presence of or the derivatives of the benzoic acid now the these compounds are very similar to the aliphatic carboxylic acid in terms of the nomenclature also as well as the certain tests that are given positive by this aromatic acids in case of the aromatic acids these compounds not only show properties of aliphatic carboxylic acid but in addition to that they will show the properties of the aromatic compounds also means they undergo electrophilic substitution reaction also they show different properties related to the carboxylic acid also now here we will see few examples how they are commonly known as well as the how the nomenclature of that particular these compounds is carried out for example here you can see salicylic acid this is the part which is known as the benzoic acid in addition to benzoic acid if we attach a hydroxyl group at the ortho position then it is known as the salicylic acid this is the common name and its iupac name is 2 hydroxy benzoic acid because second position of benzoic acid is having the hydroxyl group that's why it is known as the 2 hydroxy benzoic acid then next example is phthalic acid where there is a presence of the two carboxylic acid groups which are connected at the ortho position to each other when as we have seen in the definition also if one carboxylic acid group or more than carboxylic acid group if they are connected to the benzene ring then it is known as the aromatic acid as here the two carboxylic acid groups are connected to the benzene ring it is known as the di carboxylic acid example is phthalic acid another example here you can see this is the example of anthranilic acid where the carboxylic acid group that is the benzoic acid which is consisting of the nh2 that is the amino functional group at the ortho position that's why its chemical name is 2 amino benzoic acid means either the whatever other compounds are there 
they are named according to the derivatives of the benzoic acid further here you can see another acid that is the gallic acid in this structure you can see this is the skeleton of the benzoic acid and in addition to that there is a presence of one two and three hydroxyl groups in the structure of the benzoic acid now these two hydroxyl groups are connected at second second fourth and sixth position that's why this is known as the two four six trihydroxy benzoic acid also this is the another example where there is a presence of a alkyl group at the ortho position of the this benzoic acid common name of this particular compound is ortho toluic acid toluic acid means what this is the structure which is known as the toluene and the ortho position of toluene is having carboxylic acid group that's why it is known as the ortho toluic acid now here in this case there is a presence of a sec uh, methyl group at the second position that's why this structure is chemically known as the 2 methyl benzoic acid further if we shift to this structure here there is a presence of the nitro group which is present at the ortho position of this benzoic acid then it is known as the 2 nitro benzoic acid means depending upon the various functional groups that are connected to this benzoic acid n number of structures we can write down and all these compounds where there is a presence of the carboxylic acid group is present to the aromatic ring they all are considered as a derivatives of the benzoic acid in this way some IUPAC numbering nomenclature of the aromatic acids is carried out next point that we are going to discuss is methods used for the preparation of the aromatic acids now there are total seven methods are there which are used for the preparation of the aromatic acids first method that is used for the preparation of aromatic acids is industrial preparation now benzoic acid is produced commercially by partial oxidation of toluene with oxygen now this process is catalyzed by cobalt or manganese naphthalenes now in this case the whatever the method is there that is used for the preparation of the benzoic acid mainly commercial production of this benzoic acid is carried out by using this method this process utilizes abundant materials and proceeds in high yield that's why also this is the most widely used method for the commercial production of the benzoic acid now you can see this reaction make a correction over here here there is a presence of the alkyl group which is known as the toluene so toluene when undergo partial oxidation in presence of the oxygen it will be converted into the benzoic acid the this process is catalyzed by presence of the cobalt as well as the manganese naphthalate so this manganese and cobalt are used as a oxidizing agent where the toluene that is the alkyl group that is present over here it will be oxidized and it will be converted into the carboxylic acid group so this is the first method that is used for the preparation of the benzoic acid then next method that is used for the preparation of the benzoic acid is by oxidation of alkyl benzene this also method is quite similar to earlier method where we have seen that the toluene when undergo the oxidation it will be converted into the benzoic acid here also you can see alkyl benzenes when oxidized in presence of the acidic potassium permanganate or sodium dichromate it will be converted to the benzoic acid here whatever normal oxidizing agents are there they are generally used like say for example acidic potassium permanganate and sodium dichromate which on oxidation of alkyl benzenes they convert the alkyl benzenes into the benzoic acid thus ethyl benzene as well as the toluene can be converted into the benzoic acid in presence of the acidic potassium permanganate now let's see the reaction here you can see this is the example of the toluene this toluene on oxidation with the acidic potassium permanganate here 
alkyl groups when undergo the oxidation they will be converted into the carboxylic acid group so toluene when undergo the oxidation with the acidic potassium permanganate it will be converted into the benzoic acid also similarly we can convert ethyl benzenes that is the alkyl group present over here that is the ethyl and this ethyl benzene also undergo the oxidation by using the acidic potassium permanganate and it will be converted into the benzoic acid in this way we can carry out the oxidation of the alkyl benzene to get the benzoic acid so this is the another method that is the second method now what is the difference between the earlier method and the this method as here we are going to use the acidic potassium permanganate or the sodium dichromate as the oxidizing agent but in previous method we have utilized the metals like cobalt or the manganese because the earlier method gives us a more yield and we are going to use the whatever the materials that are abundant in nature and that's why that particular method is widely used in this case the also whatever the product that is obtained as here we are going to use the acidic potassium permanganate some amount of other acids also present as impurities that's why for the purification again we have to use a time as well as the money and for that purpose the earlier method which is quite suitable and also gives you a high yield that's why earlier method is quite used or preferred as compared to the oxidation by using acidic potassium permanganate as well as the sodium dichromate so this is about the second method that is used for the preparation of the benzoic acid that is the by oxidation of alkyl benzenes now third method that is used for the preparation of benzoic acid is from grignard's reagent this method is also one of the important method where which is used for the preparation of the benzoic acid here as we know grignard reagents bromobenzene can be converted to benzoic acid by carboxylation of the intermediate phenyl magnesium bromide where this phenyl magnesium bromide is known as the grignard's reagent this synthesis offers a convenient method to carry out the grignard reaction and now we know that grignard reagent is an important class of carbon carbon bond forming reaction in the organic chemistry here phenyl magnesium bromide is treated with carbon dioxide followed by the hydrolysis of the addition product now let's see what is the reaction as we know that phenyl magnesium bromide is prepared from the bromobenzene so this phenyl magnesium bromide when treated with the carbo carbon dioxide there will be formation of the intermediate will take place and this intermediate on the hydrolysis in presence of the acid it will be converted into the benzoic acid now indirectly here we can carry out the synthesis of benzoic acid from the bromobenzene because bromobenzene is first converted into the phenyl magnesium bromide now this phenyl magnesium bromides are considered as a one of the important reactants or class of carbon compounds in the organic chemistry where they are easily converted into the other functional groups by the various reactions so bromobenzene is first converted into phenyl magnesium bromide this grignard reagent on reaction with the carbon dioxide so carbon dioxide gas is passed through the phenyl magnesium bromide which leads into the formation of the intermediate this intermediate is formed and this intermediate on the acidic hydrolysis it will be converted into the benzoic acid so this is the third method that is used for the preparation of the grignard's reagent so up till this point we have seen introductory part that is the what is the meaning of aromatic acids also we have seen some examples where how to carry out the nomenclature of the aromatic acids by considering the benzoic acid as an example and also we have seen three different methods that is used for the preparation of the aromatic acids first one is industrial preparation second one is oxidation of alkyl benzene and third one is the from grignard's reagent next methods used for the preparation of the aromatic acids we will see in the next video thank you